Nadok Week fundamentally is a celebration. It's a celebration for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Uh, and it's important that we celebrate. There's a lot of heavy lifting that goes on during the year. Um, a lot of uh, really important things that we have to do and achieve as individuals, as families and communities. And uh, NAIDOC Week is a chance for us to showcase our culture, our history, um, showcase the very best of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. And firstly, we do that amongst ourselves. And then we share that uh, with people more broadly in the community. It's really important to remember that NAIDOC comes from a place of protest. It comes from people uh, before the 1920s talking about the need to change the date. Um, we know that there have been many efforts at this over the years and actually the change the date campaign is still happening to this very day. Fundamentally it was about people saying we need a voice. We need a voice for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to have a real say on these issues and so it's important to recognise that the history of NAIDOC speaks to our current campaign to achieve a successful referendum on an Indigenous voice to Parliament. It's no coincidence that there's a linkage to the past, the foundations of where NAIDOC come from, that we're still talking about some of these issues today and that the need for a voice and the opportunity for a successful referendum on a voice is right there in front of us. It's a time that we can come together. It's a time that we can bring our communities together. Um, and, and it's important that we do that in a sense of celebration, uh, in a sense of actually celebrating the strengths of our communities, the strengths of our cultures, and just being Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. It's a, it's a really important time of the year, and I know it's a time that many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people look forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I think particularly this year, there's a sense of optimism. Uh, there's a sense that uh, potentially there are changes on the horizon for things like the referendum on a voice to parliament, that that is something that we can achieve in the very near term. And I think that is very much a sense of, of, of some of what we're trying to achieve this year through NAIDOC. Get up, stand up, show up means doing what really we've been doing all of our lives, um, which, is, which is taking a stand and making sure that our voices are being heard on the issues that are important to us. And again, this is something that we're trying to achieve through the referendum, um, which is getting up, standing up and making sure that the voices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are where they should be. Um, sitting at the table advising politicians and governments about what's important to our communities. Uh, it's a really strong theme, it's an active theme, and, and I think it's something that speaks to the moment that we're in right now. So the NAIDOC committee has uh, its own website and they have a list of activities around the country. The really important thing about getting involved in NAIDOC week is it's, it's really locally led. There's so many local events and opportunities that people can, can get involved in. It's a time to connect at that community level. And so I'd really encourage people to have a look, um, explore the options that they have in their local communities. Obviously, there'll be some big national events as well, and we're asking people to get involved in the conversation around a referendum on a voice to parliament. That's something that we'd like people to participate in as well during NAIDOC week. And there's also those opportunities to, to get involved on the ground. So it's a great time for communities, both our own Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and the non-Indigenous population to get come together and, and actually just celebrate the best of, of who we are.